Hi everyone, I'm Tiara and I'm the project manager of uh, Beyond Type 2. Uh, I was diagnosed originally with type 2 diabetes in 2017. It was turned out to be a misdiagnosis and I received a correct diagnosis of Lada diabetes two years later in 2019. So as a woman of color living with diabetes, diabetes stigma is not new to me um, as I think many other women of color with diabetes can, um, can relate to. But to me, diabetes stigma looks like assuming that certain types of foods um, are the reason why one would get diabetes. So for instance, um, I love uh, Jamaican food and Southern food. Um, and you know, when you, when you read certain types of research, especially when it comes surrounding food and diabetes, there's always this assumption that the food itself is causing people to have diabetes, but without actual context of what those foods mean to certain cultures and how those foods are actually grown. Um, so I always felt like there is a gap in food research um, that could be uh, more culturally competent. Um, another way that diabetes stigma uh, kind of impacts my life is assuming that I have diabetes because of the color of my skin and because of my body size. I know many women um, who aren't, um, I guess, the the typical or at least what society deems as a healthy weight who are very healthy individuals and they also have diabetes. Um, diabetes is not something that anyone asks for and it's completely rude to assume that just because I am an African-American black woman um, and because I live in a, um, in a somewhat larger body um, that that's the reason why I have diabetes. So I've experienced that type of stigma um, and it's always an opportunity to tell people um, that diabetes, you know, it has a, a number of um, causes, especially of type two, um, as a person with type one, of course, the pathway is different. And I'm happy to explain that to people as well when they bring that up. Um, but I also love to talk more about how empowered I feel about living with diabetes as a woman of color. Um, you know, the challenge is always there, but what, what really helps me is being able to share and the strength of, um, my other friends, uh, women of color, who have diabetes and seeing how they use their platforms um, to inspire others and to also show how they live their best lives as, be as much as they can with diabetes. Um, but also with that said, I feel like, you know, peer support and community, that to me that means that you can have a space to be vulnerable. Um, you know, diabetes isn't easy to live with. It's, you know, it can be an up and down experience and, you know, this is a roller coaster that we're on for life. So, you know, you can't be strong all the time. And I think something that I've learned, um, is that I don't need to be strong all the time, but I can find a way to be vulnerable. And I think a really good community and a really good peer support community allows you to be vulnerable. Um, so I, I am getting better at letting people uh, comfort me when I really need it. And that's been, um, you know, it's made a major difference um, in how I'm able to open up to others. But what I would like people to know about, about women of color living with diabetes is, you know, our perspectives are not one size fits all. And if you're creating events that center diversity, equity, and inclusion, if you are creating events that um, that talk about things, you know, like, you know, racism. I mean, of course, include our perspectives and when it comes to topics like racism and sexism. However, um, I wouldn't run, I, I would also center us in discussions outside of that because I think you run the risk of tokenizing us if you only have us when it comes to discussing sexism and racism. Um, and you know we're 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 able to talk about um, more subjects than that. Um, so include us in in other discussions and opportunities because um, we have a lot to offer. Um, and with that said, the, the best way to do that is to advocate for us. We need advocates who are not women of color to speak up for us too. Um, so if you're you know a person 
who is watching this video, watching this campaign series, and you're trying to figure out like, well, what can I do to support women of, women of color? You know, go to our, you know, profiles on social media, reach out to us, ask us what we're passionate about, what we, you know, we care about, what we're working on, and, you know, help us get involved or get involved with our, with our, with our projects. Um, and, you know, just be supportive. And then, you know, if you hear something, in a room that you're in, and if you think it would be a great opportunity for someone, recommend a movement of color. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, uh, and thanks to Diabetes Sisters for letting me get involved in the Truth Over Stigma um, campaign.